Welcome to Click Star, brought to you by Lucky Dice Cafe out of Huntsville, Alabama. Check them out at luckydicecafe.com. And now for your hosts, Daniel Powell, Jason Alvey, Alex Coons, and Tyler Spees. Hey everybody, welcome to Clickstoff today. This is your host Daniel Powell speaking. Just want to let everybody know that Clickstoff is brought to you by Trollentold.com, the world's largest hero clicks retailer. Find hero clicks new and old on Trollentold.com and use coupon code Clickstoff for 5% off your hero clicks order. Um, and if you like what you're listening to today, check us out Clickstoff, uh, Patreon.com forward slash Clickstoff. A uh, dollar and above gets entered into our monthly giveaways. Five dollars and above gets entered into our Discord server for HeroClick strategy and tactics discussion. Um, and joining me today is Jason Alvey. Is Jason Alvey, who is apparently on mute, um, but he's there. Um, Sorry, the set was so boring, I already fell asleep, my bad. Yeah, so, um, <laughs> and continuing to join us is Tyler Spees. Hey, And lastly, but not leastly, Alex Coos. Awoo, awoo. So, yeah, I, I didn't have any nicknames tonight. I finished a trailer refurbish this evening, so I... Oh, uh, what movie? A, a trailer, <laughs> a, yeah, a refurbishing a trailer, not something movie related. Um, we're pumped. So, we shouldn't be so down. We're pumped. Yeah. So next we're, phase. Let's yeah. Go. Yeah. All right. So set review. Next phase. <laughs> we're just going to jump right in. C U R. We are going to cover uh, pulp. AN 300 Modern, um, as a reminder, our set reviews are designed for the competitive player playing Modern, 300 Modern, or 300 Pulp. If there is something that really sticks out that uh, meshes well with Silver Age, we'll probably just mention that in passing as well, um, but that is not typically the focus of our um, set reviews. So Yeah, and if you want to hear more of like our Modern talk, don't forget we'll probably do a tier maker so we'll we'll be going through these figures again and you'll be able to visually see it as well yeah so we did not do a tier maker for wheels of vengeance and it feels like we missed out on that yeah um so let's start out 001 she hulk okay well. um she's well, great no no she kidding. nope uh, <laughs> nothing nothing exciting there for pulp or modern I, we're going to go quickly because these set reviews tend to be three or four hours. So if if y'all really have something here, speak up. Don't feel like I'm rushing you intentionally. I'm just I already. I already feel rushed. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Jason. Yeah. Okay. Um. Oh. <laughs> Two. Kate Bishop. No. No. No move in attack. Nothing. Yeah. Clint Barton. Clint Barton's okay in Pulp because he brings shield. He's 50 points for six clicks, and he can choose between Precision, EE, and Pensai, and he's got decent keywords, so he's okay for Pulp. Miss that's M- it. Miss Marvel. Oh, that's... Um, uh, oh, that is... Uh, that's the, the the one from the show. That's her um, WonderCon outfit. AvengerCon. AvengerCon. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, she is okay um, for 35. Solid and pulp for sure because it gives you access to barrier and TK yeah. on one figure. That's that's good. And we're getting that's ever good. closer to the being able to make the podcaster theme team. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I mean, solid enough for pulp. Um, a good support piece. Moon Knight um, does not make your opponent discard a character. Shifting focus. Um, 
Is I don't that... think I don't think it's worth it, no. Yeah, the only time you would may consider it is twenty five mm-hmm. points. But that's that's about it. Yeah. Probably not. Not ne- not necessarily this one, maybe no. the other one in pulp, but yeah. it's still a it's still a big if. Right. Uh Mr. Knight. Um all right, is so the, the other shifting focus. Yeah, so this one, yeah, okay. Got it. Um not not thrilling. Nope. Not thrilling at all. Um Kazi Fat Man's use cars when a friendly character uses Underworld. They may carry two characters regardless of point values for 40 points and leadership with willpower. Not worth it. Nope. You know. That was kind of cool, but not good enough to play. If he was like 20 points, maybe. Yeah, real quick about not trying to talk about Mr. Knight. Isn't it weird that there's only two characters with shifting focus? Are we missing some? No, like, Moon Knight. Moon Knight only whenever he was in Moon Knight form, he only went between Moon Knight and Mister Knight. Those two. I thought yeah. maybe they would have like a a human form, maybe, but yeah, the human form or or other things, but like it just seems weird. Even yeah, yeah, it's like weird that they they just had two, and it's like here you go, here's your with, here's your uh, two. Yeah. Well, we had to jam pack this set with other exciting, you know, characters like track, like tracksuit and uwu, whatever the hell that is. Uh, All right, track. Let's not hate on tracksuit. Let's not get too far ahead. <laughs> we'll, we'll, um, we'll get the demon. Is no thanks. Uh, no thanks. It is not. It is not six damage. So it is relatively low cost though. So that's good. Yeah, flurry eleven for three for fifteen. I wish I had like mystics or something. Yeah. yeah, I'm glad. Yeah. Uh, I'm glad you're getting them so far, Jason. Mm-hmm. Um, Yelena, uh, the target trait for the assassins uh, hasn't come to fruition yet, so probably no. Probably not going to. All right, track point, track suit. Um. Now, tracksuit's okay because he's an expendable goon, so he works with the notorious ones. Ooh, I like that. Um, and this one compares to, I think, the G.O.O.N one. Is that is the it, one with the empower? He's always in power sidestep. Side side that's side cool. That That's pretty cool. That, that's pretty cool. And yeah. Super. Uh, yeah, Tyler, like Tyler, you're, Tyler, you're a little quiet. Um, let me try to turn you up. Because you just said something and just nobody heard you. Let me try to turn you up a little bit. But yeah, real quick, the we like the expendable goons coming out of Notorious. They've seen play in other formats. I've seen them played in Pulp. So uh, this one is pretty good. Like we said, Sidestep it has the Underworld TA and power. and actually has a rollout. It has Super Senses. Yep. So... Yeah. I think it's solid. Yeah, I mean, if, I, I like it. Yeah, if you look at it just as tracksuit and, and like don't have the notorious pieces, it's still kind of okay. But <laughs> expendable goons with the others is what makes it better. And I like that they have this kind of cross, you know, universe. Like it's something that works with DC and Marvel. I, I kind of like that little thing they added on there. Say say something, Tyler, about tracksuit. Yes, I agree with Alex about tracksuit being good. Okay, that's better. I finally got you cranked up high enough. We all like tracksuit. He's great. Yep. Fifteen points. Yep. Awesome. Sound, sounds good. good Ooh, job. thirty point monster leadership. Oh Ooh. oh, and tracksuit is also an X Men. Just don't forget. Um. Hey, yeah. Hey, and uh, Dark Phoenix could make tracksuit hit twice if he really wanted to. Because he's a brute. So, was Monster missing its leadership? Yes. Co- commissioner left. Commissioner yeah, left. So Venom, it, Venom Mags it, left. Venom Mags left. Yep. Who, who, were you, who were we using on that team for leadership? Oh, like we were, we were G- Genesis. MOE. MOE or Genesis. Genesis. Yeah, MOE yeah. or Genesis. Yeah. And so. it wasn't really working out. Like, uh, look at his yeah, so yeah, this is the answer. So that would this oh. saves this saves ten <laughs> points. This saves ten points over Genesis, basically. Yeah. For monster. Yeah. 
Um, I mean, team, it has team player and power leadership. We're talking about Emil Blonsky, number 11. Yeah, I mean, I do definitely like 30-point leadership for Pulp. Um, mm -hmm. And I like the empower um, for Kong. Um, remove free, remove an action token from a meal. If you do, give an action token to a friendly character with the Abostum. Abom Can that just work? Abomastum. What do you mean? What if, you, what if you don't have an action token? What if you don't have a character within four squares with the uh, Bama Baba? Then you can't do it. Why Wait. not? You no, no, it's, it's, it's can. Yeah. Oh, you've done it yourself, right? Well, I mean, what, I don't know. Because there's a period there. Free, remove an action. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you get to do that first, and typically you get to do actions until they're no longer legal. Or I mean, there's like you probably. Get to, there's probably, There's something. probably some something that prevents this. Yeah, probably. If so, I, I what, what I is feel like a holiday rule? Like, so <laughs> we'll just go with you don't get to do it, and um, hopefully one of the folks that a um, little more detailed can uh, uh, let us know. But he's fine. Yeah. Um, Hulk. He's a Hulk. Me. Not that great though. He is indeed a Hulk. He's a subpar Hulk. Yeah. Yep. Maya Lopez. Mm -hmm. Blah. Um, it's, been, it's been a while since we've seen something that says you hit something and they can't use attack powers. But unfortunately, that's not that great. So. Yep. Okay. Baby Groot. So, Baby Groot is hard to... For me to measure because it's shifting focus. We have what four of them? Like yeah. there's this one. There's two chases I think that are baby Groot, or at least mm -hmm. one. There's two. There's a rare and, that's um. So that one's got outwit for forty points. Uh, he gets rid of stealth. Um, this one, yeah, destroy all. So the one we're talking about, O fourteen. Destroy a free, destroy all adjacent standard terrain markers. That's okay. Like, it, every time I look at each Groot, I'm like, okay, that's sort of interesting. But nothing has stood out to me, and it, it's probably I just haven't looked at all four of them. Well, so I'm looking at that there. one. That one seems, this one seems fine. It destroyed all adjacent terrain markers. Okay, leap climb. He can get into places. That's cool. Okay. Then O thirty one is the next one. Um, yes, and it's an this outwit a... <coughs> um, with sidestep force blast. Force blast is free, but only to target a character that moves since your last turn. Baby Groot can knock back characters larger than himself. Um, and it takes away like stealth. With a line of fire, yeah, and, and four squares, yeah. That's, that's not bad. I mean, once again, we're talking forty points, and you could swap between the two of them. Yeah, but then you, but then you hop into the chases, which will. We well, but we later. can we can just talk about them real quick. I mean, that's fine. I mean, let's just do the whole package while we're in. Yeah, O fifty nine's got a twenty defense and support. Um, regeneration, but only Baby Groot occupies water terrain. When a friendly character occupied in plane would heal. They heal an additional click. Uh, smoke cloud is free, but as water terrain instead of smoke. There's five of them. Um, what's the fifth one? Two two oh one. It's one of the play. It, it's the, either the pizza or the play ones. I was so, sitting there wondering where's like, this other one like from. All this, yeah. I'm not. I'm not. Ga I'm not getting anything exciting about this. Yeah, um, if you could, if you could somehow give that baby Groot the O five nine a a sweet defend, yeah, that then we're talking. <laughs> yes, exactly. If there was an equipable defend, like I know you couldn't like give it to him, um, like at the start. You can do it in silver. Well, now he's tiny. No, so how are you probably... giving him defend in silver? I don't know. If you can't equip him, you can't do it. No, I mean you can, but it would have to be a gauntlet, and he would take a Carter Shield. Damage yeah, the Carter Carter Shield will give him okay. a defend. Okay, that's fair. Plus one, like yeah. I mean, eh, maybe, but golly, he's forty points. But you know what? I could see it with silver being four hundred points, 
and he does have cosmic and you could do a bunch of swap stuff with Latveria and Demon and Armor. I, I, that's about the, yeah, I mean, the Magic 20 with Demon with a Carter Shield. So I'm just thinking out loud here. That's a good call, Jason. Carter Shield gives him Defend. And then you play with Demon and Armor, Latveria. So you get a nice little theme team. Start out with the Cosmic Dark Phoenix. Equip her with the shield. Swap her out. <coughs> have Baby Groot pick it up. Then you're walking, walking, rocking around a twenty. A twenty, mm -hmm. but twenty, and he's tiny, so he's easier to hide. And he's got okay, stealth. I'm back. I think. Who are we talking about? We're Still talking about the group. the Baby Groot packages. But now you sound really like. Really like blah, 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 like you're in a megaphone. In a megaphone. Yes. Yeah, you sound awful now. You sounded good before. Oh, that's because I wasn't on my phone. All right, give me one more second. Okay, you're fine. We're gonna keep rolling. Um, I mean, the other, the next one, the O60, is the one that charges. And if you change elevations, he charges, hits for three, super strength, and then quakes for free. Mm-hmm. After you charge, if you change elevation and perplex, like that one, arguably is the best baby group out of all of them, because it's a charge, even though it's only for th movement of three. Yeah, but I, I think the baby group with the twenty and the cosmic keyword makes about the most sense so far. You said two o one. Yeah, there's two o one, and that one he has on. power, super strength. Yeah. He's got stealth when a debris marker is placed within eight squares of Baby Groot. After resolution, you may place Baby Groot in that in the square of the debris marker, and then free dance off. Well, he doesn't get that till click four and five. So he yeah, might as well not have it. If he had that, it'd be at the beginning. It'd be great. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, it's one of those like each one is kind of interesting, but they don't do anything really. Yeah. Except but all it. Except for O fifty nine, but in one rare case, yes, like, and that's only in silver. But, it's not in modern. It's definitely not in pulp. Um, right. So it's definitely something where if someone finds mm -hmm. a way to maximize his potential, like gets really familiar with Baby Groot and knows how to swap well, then sure, maybe there's something there. But okay. it kind of sucks that two of our chases is taken up by this. Yes. Um, so 15 is the Trick Arrow. I do want to wait for Trick Arrow until after the CUR. Let's just make that the first super rare that we cover. Quote unquote super rare. Well, we we did talk about it, didn't we, on the last episode? Yeah, we did. Mm -hmm. So just remember going forward, the qualifying words for Trick Arrow is marksman. So mm -hmm. when we're talking about even these uncommons and rares, we could talk about it outside of pole. Hey, this rare could technically have trick arrow for free. Right. So. Makes sense. Um, uh, common Wong is Meh. okay. Yeah. Meh. Meh. Uh, He's a TK prob. Yeah. Just good for sealed, probably. Yeah. He's good for sealed, as is our first uncommon Jen Walters. Um, I do like a 30.18 defend with prob. Yeah. And team player. Yeah. Team player is strong. Like team player is really good. Yeah. I I like her for sealed. An 18 is an 18 with a prob is hard to hit continuously in sealed. She is, is going to be Go ahead. Is there is there a she hulk that we care about for her size and active thing? Yes. Yeah, the chase, the chase one probably. It's okay. Yeah. Way to way to spoil it, Dan. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. I mean, people are going to look at this. Yeah, I mean, that this stuff is like I've seen this set compared to Joker's Wild already. Um, that was one person on. Facebook. Yeah, and then I've seen it compared to the last next phase. It, it didn't really have a compelling CUR, but there were super rares and chases that made you go chase the set. So, and this is definitely the case for this one so far. The commons are all pretty much 
the uh, uh, we liked tracksuit for sure. I, I mean, sure yeah, really but I mean, <laughs> yeah, it's okay. It's not like so. It's these things that are like little tiny support things, but they're not on the level of like um, Venom Mags or Super Rare Flash. Yeah, he wasn't or, a common. <laughs> I know, but none of these things are like game changing right that's the kind of stuff that's really exciting to talk about and this is just like sure but a little bit of again, spice common. <laughs> yeah so gen walter is definitely more exciting in silver age a little we're going to talk about it because there are some older she hopes that are better mm -hmm. war of the realms one was solid with the free tk there was the one that lets you roll for the not theme team or something like that, so yeah, I feel like even then it's <clears throat> tough to use her as a sideline spot when she comes in on her last click. Like it's like not that exciting. Sure. Yeah, you, know, you know what I'm excited about hmm. is getting more Seinfeld clicks like the next one. <laughs> Valentina Allegra De Fontaine. I don't yeah. know if I said that right or not, but now if we now if we just get the rest of the gang, it will be it will be great. Right. So she, she is a keyword cheat. So yes, and she's in pulp. I looked at it the other day. Funny enough, though, most of these, like as, most assassins, already have spy. Most soldier, like they, there's a, already a lot of cross keyword. Yeah, but it does get you, like I believe, like Red Widow, Blue Marvel. Like it does key. Um, What's his face? The pulse wavy guy. Um, Deathstroke. Deathstroke. Yeah. Oh, you know I love a Deathstroke. And that means if he has thunderbolts, the timing is a good question. But I think if he has thunderbolts, he would share that with his justice with Justice yeah, League. Work. Yeah, I know what you mean, but mm. because they would happen at the same time. So, so take I, like three of the best pulp pieces and give them a good prob piece to go with them, make them all theme together. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but basically has global problem at that point. Yeah, yeah and, and shield. So she's definitely pulp wise, probably mm -hmm. up, so up there as this is the, potentially exciting. Um, no, that doesn't work. Why? Why not? Um, I don't. Let me see. Is let me. I don't. Whoop. They're so they're both when establishing. Oh yeah, teams. then it works. Then it works. Yeah, yeah. That, it happens at the same time. So yeah. basically, you could give a Teen Titans or Justice League character. Thunderbolts to join in with whatever assassin soldier and spy that you have, which most of the good pieces have assassin. Like, you know what? Uh, you know what? You know what makes would make that? You know what would make her better than Prob is if what? she also had leadership. <laughs> yeah, that would be good because yep. the loss of Skinny Steve. Um. And whoever we use for leadership, Alex, um, we lost them to. Who did we play? Yeah, for? but who did we play for leadership that was really good? Uh, it wasn't Valeria. I'd have to. I'd have to think about it. I wasn't. Yeah, I'm just thinking. Um, yeah, that that Deathstroke lost his soldier. Um, leadership. So, um. That's the big thing for that team, and uh, but I do like her. I mean, that totally works. You mean it's basically, you know, the Justice League. Welcome to the Thunderbolts. Yeah. So for and we're guys, we're primarily talking pulp. I don't think she'll really have that big of an impact for no modern. Yeah, she's too bad. <laughs> she's an awful dial for forty points. Yeah, right. but pulp. She's one of the first exciting pieces in the set for pulp. Where you're like, hey, this might change things a little bit. So, um, <laughs> this Jack fella here during force construction, Jack du Duquinez maybe signed a sword equipment without paying its cost. Oh boy. So for like so weird. six months, he can have um, a soul sword. Or all black the necro sword. No, no, they <laughs> did clarify that it's just the, it would be just the swords from the exosword stuff. But did they clarify this one? 
<laughs> swords that sort of I'm put saying me in this look like, could be different. No, no. It's, it's definitely not. It's definitely not. It's the, <laughs> the character has it's the character card for the equipment has sword in its parentheses. Yeah, this guy's. I mean, he's not great. You know, sidestep, precision strike, flurry, exploit weakness, close combat expert, combat reflexes. It's like every close combat ability in the game. Right. Like it, you know, it's not flurry, twelve attack blades. Uh, it exploit. is. It it is charge. Awful. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, he could have charge. That's fair. <laughs> yeah. He does not have charge. Um, Hero, uh, what show was he in? He's Moon the Knight. bad guy. Yeah, he's the bad guy in Moon Knight. Yeah. Oh yeah, he is. You're right. You're right. The guy with the cane. The guy with the cane. Like Ethan Hawke, dude. He was. Yeah. He was, a, he was the bad guy. Yeah. Oh okay. I I just I just remember the Egyptian gods battle at the end at this point because it's been over a year already yeah um, well, he was kind of the bad guy but like for all the episodes leading up to that <laughs> gotcha yeah some of that Moon Knight stuff was a little hard to follow um but looking back on it I still I still think it's great so but Haro here is not uh, no not good nope Lala Layla E- Layla. Yeah, I'm not going to try to pr- mispronounce her last name. <laughs> um, she's got a stop click, super senses, perplex, outwit, 50 points, super generic dial. Not that great. Mm-hmm. Um, Runa, um, shape change, she gets to do it twice, perplex, mm-hmm. um, and she modifies her defense. Uh, no, not that great. Wait, Man, we were we were we were reaching for characters here, weren't we? Man. When yeah. an opposing character within range and line of fire uses perplex, that use of perplex has no effect, and instead, so she negates an enemy perplex. That's kind of cool. The line of fire is the deal breaker yeah, for it's me. Always the hard part. Yeah. If it, if it was if they took that off, then she's still probably not playable. But yeah, because at least she's range. yeah, at least she's interesting at that point. Yeah. Where you're like, well, maybe. Mm-hmm. Um, Sarkin. Um, no. So he's yeah. he's one of the Obama Day people, but he just doesn't do anything. No, Yelena. Uh, she's got a lot of white powers. Really good. Uh, charge combat. plasticity. Charge plasticity. No, that's not good. You have to be within two squares to target her. Um, that's, that's the opposing okay. characters can't target Elena unless they were within two squares of her. She does not have stealth to stack on top of that. Um, no, but she's just. You have to be within two. <laughs> stealth. She's yeah, you just, have to be within two. She's ignorable for sixty-five points, though. Really. Yeah, she needed like blades or close combat expert or something. She has seven clicks for sixty-five. It's like what? not awful, but. Yeah. yeah, she would she would get the bow for free, but she has charge, unfortunately. Yeah, some of the arrows do work with close combat attacks, though, so that is something. I think all of them do. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure they just trigger on attack. Yeah, which is dumb. <laughs> um, track suit with quake combat reflexes and exploit with stealth. Yep, another um, goon. Not, not as exciting as the common one. No, maybe if he had our wit on his fifteen point line. And gonna, this yeah. guy doesn't have the brute keyword. Maybe that's a mistake. But this guy is not an X Man. Because this guy's all about finesse. Well, it's because it's the it's the that one tread. I don't know. It's because he's got the the mask on. So maybe he's just not as brutish as the guy that doesn't have the mask on. Or it's just a mistake and it's missing it. I don't know. One or the other. I feel um, like it's probably intentional. Nikki Ramos. Uh, when establishing theme teams, Nikki Ramos gains the keywords of a friendly character named She Hulk or Jen Walters. Uh, oh boy. A not so great incapacitate power. This was her assistant, right? Yes. It's her best friend, yeah. Yeah, best friend slash assistant. I think she's another lawyer, I think. I oh, she's okay. a lawyer, too. Gotcha. So it was not her assistant, it was her peer. Um. Incapacitate. She will remove an action token from a friendly character. No, this is not. This She's is bad. this is bad. Um, the not so good wrecker, uh, which is not so good. 
Yeah, no, he's not so good. Wrecking crew. What Leapfrog, you? though. 30, 30 points for six clicks is interesting. Um, the figures seem to be better than they should, so I'm excited. Leap climb, free, choose a direct path and roll a d6. Knock Leapfrog back along that path Along that path, a number of squares equal to the result, so he can reach out pretty far. Maybe um, he can use poison if moved or placed. But it's only on his alternating clicks. When yeah, leap, uh, boo. And then when leapfrog, damage. when leapfrog, no, well, when he uses, he can KO himself is what he can do. When leapfrog well, uses poison after resolutions, deal him one damage. So uh, the animal keyword, and I'm upset about it. So I think. This guy could be an interesting combo because the whole point is you knock him back and he takes the one damage. Yeah. And then he could then poison and then he goes to click three. And then he could charge or whatever, right? Like there's there's he flips through his dial on his own yeah, so fairly there's reasonably. There's potential to carry five of these guys across the map and poison somebody five times and kill them. That's fun. Um, and then you also have five empowers over there for you know whatever you want to follow it up with uh, yeah miss marvel or i i think there's potential i but yeah definitely more so in pulp than modern but 30 points isn't bad for the kit no i i don't i don't think he's bad for 30 points he's also like the only person i know that has earthbound neutralized I guess you could stick a, a red ring on him if you wanted that penetrating poison, I guess, too. No. Yeah, and now we're thinking. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. Maybe. That's interesting. Maybe. Just like this next guy. If if the power barrier didn't exist. Um... <laughs> There's ways around barrier. <laughs> yes, yes, we know you love barrier. We get it. <laughs> See, if he has that red ring, he just drops that red... Uh... Yeah, Red fire, uh, hydrant. fire hydrant there. And there you go. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. All right, now we got a bet. I want Jason to be Dan with a leaf frog. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how, but I just. just Dude, I'm telling you, frog characters are always better than they should be. <laughs> Phasing Green Lantern just goes across the barrier, drops all the frogs, and yeah. wins the fuck out of it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's um, that's not happening to me. <laughs> you can kill a lot with five poisons. <laughs> yeah, I, again, quote of the year. Yeah, <laughs> Tyler speech. You can kill a lot of things with five poisons. Right. Yeah. Um, I, I will just say again that that's that's I'm not letting that happen to me. To any of my teams that this guy I play. Is basically, maggot 2.0. That's what I'm seeing. <laughs> Except he doesn't have the freaking animal keyword. Come on. You know what? He's yeah. Let's. Um, they made a very good decision to not allow maggot in silver. So. Just don't make uh. the just don't make the mistake of going armor themed and playing frogman because frogman does have a trait. Frogman and adjacent friendly characters can't be knocked back. So don't don't play him with Leapfrog. It'd <laughs> be, so be like, I got this cool frog team, guys. And it's like he literally can't knock himself back anymore. That's sad. They can't play together. That's crazy. <laughs> they can't if they're not adjacent. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Mister Immortal. Um, he's cool. <laughs> he's fun. He's funny. Yeah, yeah. I mentioned. I, th I think I mentioned him on we the last episode. Yeah, yeah, I just. I think he's a fun design, but he's not good. Yeah, in my opinion, not good. Yeah, <laughs> All right. Um, characters within three squares can't use Battle Fury for the old O thirty Hulk here. You know, maybe this is all mm. this is all Wizkid's plan. Because how disappointed were we in Hulk in the TV show and the movie when he got to Smart Hulk? We were fairly disappointed because it's like, well, this isn't really Hulk. And so that's how I feel about these dials now. It's like, this is an okay Hulk, but it's not like a good Hulk. It's no. just an okay one. It's, yeah, it's... I, like, I like my Hulk Savage not wearing glasses and a hoodie. 
Well, well this Hulk is wearing a Hawaiian button up and a tank top, so and he's well, doing and he... Okay, I don't like my Hulk's wearing a shirt. Okay, how about that? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, when Hulk is given a range terrain action, he has a minimum range value of seven. I saw that. Oh, boy. That's fun. It is fun. Ooh, it's that's because much. he can throw the rock further than the She rock. Hulk can. Mm -hmm. into orbit. There you go. What? <laughs> but yet he's stopped by a jeep. Yeah. <laughs> he in his first movie he took two cars and used them as boxing gloves, but she runs over with a fucking jeep. Yeah, he can't stop it. Give me a fucking break. <laughs> yeah. Um. All right. Our first prime. We did cover Baby Groot rare in our Groot grouping. Um. Okay. I thought this guy broke the game for a second because <laughs> I didn't read. Venom yeah. Rogue Alert! Venom Rogue Alert! Yeah. <laughs> oh wait. Yeah. Yep, that's what I thought. Uh, choose an opposing character within four squares. Mm, this I-worded character can use. Ooh 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 ooh. Mm -hmm. uh, can use the powers that character okay. can use until your next turn. Replace that character's name with ooh woo name in the copied powers. Uh, shape change when ooh woo uses it. After resolutions, you may place him up to two squares away from his current square. Is there anything that like is so prevalent and so good that this is worth it? No. Like. Um, I, I, the only thing I think of is Porter, but all you get is you get his pulse wave power, but that's it. You get, you well, no, get, all, you, all powers. You all get, the powers I know it's all powers, use. but like I'm looking for things that like you could break. You know, like if you had a colossal retaliator. Yeah, yeah like you, um, could, you could copy that. You could copy um, Leapfrog's True. poison. <laughs> poison power damage this guy. I mean, he could te he could technically do that to Connor Silver Surfer, and then hypersonic hit, and then after resolutions hit again, right? Yeah, if it's with... a speed power, he could. Yeah, yeah, it is. I mean, he he wouldn't be able to heal right um, but... above his above. Well, he doesn't have a higher starting yeah, he would line. Die. <laughs> yeah, he would be able to he would be able to heal and stuff. Um, like yeah, if he was damaged, I mean, like he. But but he has one. He no no. He couldn't actually use. He would have to do it as a close because he would have one range, one <laughs> range, range, one range, and he can't shoot out of decency. Yeah, so he would not be able to use the RCE in that situation uh, or the yeah, side blast. The thing is, like, if like they had a retaliator and you're on a small map, you run this guy over, free copy, free retaliate or something, but. It's just not good. Yeah, it's depending on what your opponent plays, and that's just never a good good idea. Yeah, and that's why that that's why they left the power, and they're like, you know what? This is Venom. Ro Everyone got upset with Venom Rogue. We figured out how to fix it. Let's just give it this. Mm -hmm. Let's just make it bad. Yeah. All right. Now this this goes into the question of traits aren't powers, right? That's the whole point, right? If it ha if it grants a standard mm -hmm. power, then yeah, but. Right, so anybody who was thinking of, oh, sweet, he could copy Killmonger, that is a trait on Killmonger. So, right, that would be cool if he could do that, <laughs> but he could not. All right, Maya Lopez, choose a standard power and adjacent friendly character, and adjacent and adjacent opposing character can use Maya Lopez can use that power until you choose again. Charge, sidestep, stealth, uh, close combat expert when Maya Lopez attacks one or more characters. She can use base clause fangs or has the marksman keyword. Modify her attack plus one. So she's a 12, 13 attack for six. No, she's not good. It's it's okay for pulp if you want to try to fit it on assassin, but it's it's not great. But it's okay. You need to give her a even if you gave her flurry, she wouldn't be that great. The no. sex guy's pretty cool, though. Uh, red Dagger, stealth. When lines of fire drawn to Red Dagger or adjacent friendly characters cross the rim of elevated terrain, they are hindered. Because um, of, of his red scarf. Yeah, yeah that's weird. Uh, for some reason, he's got the cosmic keyword. 
because yeah, of the he was in uh, he's in that other he's in Miss Marvel he's in that other yeah. plane or whatever that those oh, characters came from. Why was yeah. I why was I thinking he was from um, Moon Knight? No, Moon Knight? no, uh, no. I actually I was thinking he was from um, Bucky and um, Winter Falcon. Soldier. Yeah, yeah, Winter Soldier and yeah, Falcon. Soldier. Yeah. Um, uh, sidestep Red Dagger can't be targeted by adjacent opposing by opposing characters unless they're adjacent to him. At the beginning of your turn, you may deal Red, red Dagger one unavoidable. So he's got the whole um, Martian Manhunter vibe going on, but he just goes to leap and attack or <laughs> leap climb. Um, no leap and attack. Um, We've been attacked. Would be a way better power to have. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. Give me some of that. That's a new standard power we need. Yeah, <laughs> just change leap climb to leap and attack. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, I, he would maybe be playable more if it wasn't at the beginning of your turn. You deal him one unavoidable. But like that would that would mean you could like sidestep up. Get him like TK'd, sidestep yeah. up, and then swap him to that Blades Claws range right. three. Like, which I'll is probably fine. I'll be honest with you, I thought that speed power was green, and I was more excited for this guy. <laughs> so, yeah. Not nah. as good as I thought he was. Nope. Yeah. And even He's then, a... he wasn't that good. Um. Yeah. Oh, we have our first unique Donnie Blaze. Donnie Blaze. At the beginning of the game, generate. Porter marker, a portal marker. Five no, Scott Porter marker. Yeah, generate a porter marker, portal <laughs> marker, five squares away from any map edge. Okay. At the beginning of your turn, you may generate a 008 demon on click one adjacent to the portal marker. If you do, roll a d6. One through three. The generated demon is friendly to an opponent's force and not <laughs> KO. Not score not when scored. KO. Yeah. Um, four. Generate another demon on click one adjacent to the portal marker and then remove the portal marker from the game. Five six, no effect. Um does that's that fun. does that that's fun? Does that demon it doesn't have It's the flurry close combat expert one that we had before. Yeah, no close combat, just flurry shape change. Yep. Oh, I thought it was close combat. Okay. No, nope. <laughs> never mind. Yeah. So, no, you're not playing this guy. The only way that is with, like, Silver Age shenanigans, where, like, you really want to be able to take out an opponent, and so you're like, ah, I'll hopefully roll a one through three, have the portal near me, so I can create them a demon, and then take it out. You know, it's one of those wonky Golden Age, Silver Age crap, where, like, Owas or whatever they were called, Uwas. That you can swap sides. That's the only possible way this guy might play. Well, you play. don't score him. No, but it's not about scoring. It's about like hitting your opponent and like oh sure, sure, sure. knocking them back and doing stuff like that. So mm -hmm. it's such a it's such a remote case, right? It's or it might be a good way to like get them to um like be able to like if they're barriering up, right? You can like start healing up your surfers. Yeah, that's true. Sure. Uh, wait a minute. So, yeah, I mean, and that works in modern, I, I guess. I was thinking s silver, too, but some, like, surfers banned in silver. Um, he also has the other power that's not bad. Uh, phasing silver, sidestep, free, place Donnie Blades or an adjacent friendly character up to four squares away from their current square. If you do, your opponent may place them up to one square away from their new square. So it's like a free, three range TK. That's, that's not bad. That ignores line of fire and stuff. Yeah, don't need line of fire or anything. True. And he's got barrier. Yeah. You can pop somebody out of barrier. That's kind of fun. But I don't know how good that is. But it, he does interesting stuff for sure. It's a fun yeah. piece. Yeah. Uh, now for... And if, your opponent, and, and if your opponent was magnanimous, it could be a five square free movement. True. Now for an absolutely terrible character for Pulp, and probably also for Potter. But uh, by the way, you can't you, you can't use trick arrows in Pulp, right? That's just a no no. Right. right. Okay. Right. All right. Got it. Um. Yeah. That, I don't even want to talk. That Clint's awful. Well, so do the trick arrows trigger off of his end cap? 
Because it not uh, it depends no. on the trick era. Maybe. But at 75 points, that's awful. <laughs> no rollouts, nothing. Yeah, and you can you can't use it in bulk, so yeah. Yeah, like you right. you wouldn't be able to use like trick error electrical cuz it says choose a hit character instead of normal damage. Yeah, and you can't replace. Right, yeah, but they're not all damage. not all of them are instead of normal damage. There's like a couple that aren't. Yeah, like when you hit something happens that would trigger on it. Yeah. yeah. But still uh, 75 points is not no, not good. not great for that. Um Moon Knight continues the 200 point main characters. And he's pretty he's, cool. I think he's solid in pulp. I mean, he can't be outwitted. I understand he's just toughness up top. But, um, like, you could just heal him up. He has free heal Moon Knight one click. Yep. And then he's got a retail. The damage a friendly character since your last turn. Place Moon Knight such a close attack. Target chosen character can do so. Yeah, so they just have to have damaged a friendly character. He has three stop super senses clicks. He has. Battle Fear and Exploit Weakness on none of his stop clicks. That's weird. It's not on the top click, but it's not on the stop click. I hate that. Uh, he ignores characters for movement. He ignores hindering for targeting. Like, he's a solid piece. He yeah. doesn't do anything great. There are some things that he does mm. that you want a 200-point character to do, like ignore characters for movement. <laughs> Um, I don't like that he doesn't have any rollouts. I mean, he has a little stop click. Um, and then he, he just has the free heal. I mean, the free heal is the free heal is good. Also, like he's got three stop clicks with the heal and mystics, so that can come into play for sure. Yeah. So when I see something like this, I think, how does he compare to Deathstroke and Pulp? Maybe, maybe post retirement, it's better. Um, well, there's still a, a hundred points to build around them. Yeah, I get that. Well, yeah, but but like, Deathstroke has 150 points to build around. Him. Sure. Um, Deathstroke has 200. Yeah, I, Deathstroke has 200 points to build around him. I mean, it depends on what. You you play you play Deathstroke at 100. Okay. I, I'm pretty convinced um, of that one. The problem is, is that the reason I say that or bring that up is his stop click doesn't have a reducer, and Everything that does something in pulp knocks back. And that's obviously Blue Marvel, Deathstroke, and I'm going to say in general, that's also Orb. Sure. Yeah. Most of the time. Yeah. So, and then Orb hits him for one, two, three, four with knockback and knocks him past his first stop click. But then he heals back to the stop click. I know, but that's just healing to the stop click. Now you're in a now you got a chance to get hit to the thing. The thing yeah, is if he's it, missing like he's missing a reducer a on his stop click. I think is I one think he's missing like either he needed a traded rollout or maybe traded steel energy would have been cool so you could heal with his retail. Uh, he, or you could in modern you could obviously give him oh, wait, no, you can't give him steel energy. It's no. No. Is, um. Is what's do we have the motorcycles too? Steel energy. No. no. Steel energy comes from the symbiote, so you can. You give him a black symbiote, I guess. Okay, but we're not playing him in modern. Really. We're not playing him anyway. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. No, it's it's Amit. That's who I was thinking. In modern oh, yeah. for the herald mm -hmm. now. Yeah, he would get the herald yeah. for free. Yeah, but I mean, the problem is, is that he just doesn't have a reducer on his stop click. <laughs> So, I wouldn't be surprised if somebody plays him in uh, Pulp just as like a 200 point almost any 200 point figure in Pulp it's like okay and he's a little bit better than that just because he does have the retail, he does have right. characters, movement, like it it's not bad, you could win a couple games with him. Yeah, yeah. All that's right. how I feel too. Rare Kingpin opposing characters within four squares can't use willpower Invincible, Mastermind, Protected Outwit, but only from characters of a lower point value. I like that. And Leadership and Outwit. But he's a pretty generic dial other than that. He's too overcosted. Yeah, he's yeah. too expensive. I mean, it, it, it's probably going to be... He's not going to be outwitted most of the time. And Unoutwittable Mastermind is, is always something to look at. But... Uh, 
There's a lot of pulse wave involved. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, all right. So Prime Kingpin. Friendly characters of 30 points or less can use toughness and modify attack and damage plus one. Um, that's interesting. That's really good. Like for uh, if you're just even playing just a bystander team like APOC, Legacy APOC. Yeah. Just giving your characters a toughness if they don't already have a reducer and plus one attack and damage. This guy makes sure. indigos go crazy in silver. Makes Scott Porter, Pulse Wave Porter better. True. And it makes Black Short better too. I mean, um, makes Mephisto better. Yeah, uh, and and it's, it's, it's standard characters. Um, yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Dang, because so, he. he it was brute too. I was getting excited. So um, he would make Mephisto thirteen for four because he should be played with porters. So, well, sure. um, so that's pretty crazy. Um, Give him toughness too. Yeah, Give, uh, you you frogs. know what? Uh, yeah, so yeah, for the leapfrog <laughs> army. Ah, um, uh, now we can't play leapfrog because of this guy. Uh, hey, listen, I'm just looking at my two gun kid army. <laughs> Oh, better yeah. by the day. Who, who's now sitting there thinking, okay, okay, like boost me up to maybe a 12, 13 attack for five. Well, he, he's like a, a printed nine, so. Right. All right. Yeah, you're right. 12. Yeah. 12 attack. Oh, no. Um, for five. So his movement power, uh, stealth power, choose up to two friendly standard characters of 30 points or less within six squares. Move those characters up to two squares each. Then they may each make an attack. Yep. This guy's good. Like, I can see people making a team around this guy. And, and obviously a modern. But just the fact that he gives some toughness, modifies attack and damage plus one, and then he takes a power action. He takes the power action to allow them to move to and make an attack. Mm -hmm. Like, that's better than what Kamish could do with his little attack, tacky thing. Right. And he's got the leadership, and he's got the outwit. I'm thinking, like, he makes the grand prize twins be an 11. Porter makes them a 12. Um, who else is less than 30 points? Let me just take a Dare look. There's Daredevil. I can think of a lot in silver. <laughs> right, I'm just looking. A less than 30. Um, so, the Carnage is not ca Carnage. Carnage is not standard. Hulk. Oh, okay. Same. Oh, no, he's a prime. Dang. I yeah. The prime say. Um. There's some. There's some interesting ones out there. Yeah, I'm just. I'm just looking real quick. Jennifer Kale, Daredevil, um, Zarathos, um, Space Ghost. If you really want to. Yeah, Pri this is good. Prime Batman. Would have uh, worked. Scrappy. There you go. Uh, Scrappy's tiny. Uh, uh, sad day. Uh, super rare Spider-Man. Uh, obviously Mephisto. Uh, it works with the other Prime. There's a lot of Primes this guy that works with. The yeah. Prime Iron Spider. Would be uh, nice. Madam <laughs> Web that we're seeing some increase in play on. Oh, Daredevil. Uh, like Legacy Daredevil. Two gun I think kid. it's almost better in silver because then you got flashes, you got high evolutionaries, you got um, you got you got peeper. Peeper is true. Uh, <laughs> Saint Walker, Cyborg, Commissioner Gordon. Yeah, okay, all right. I'm 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 seeing. I just it. want to call out how dumb is the power is. It's, yeah. it's mastermind toughness and King Power's other Kingpin's other powers have protected outwit. But you want to outwit the defense power, so it protects all the other powers that you wouldn't want to outwit. It well, it's really dumb. Well, Tyler, not everyone deserves a happy ending. <laughs> Plus, you can outwit. Can't you outwit that defense power, and then they're no longer protected outwit? But then you have to. Then you're wasting two outwits. Yeah, on you it. can, but like you just kill them if you outwit the master. Sure. I mean, it is six clicks for 55, so, I mean, it is, no, not nothing. Got you, two, two gun kid army. There's definitely something to keep an eye on, but... They're making they're making three attacks per kid, so... That's true. 
Like now I'm going to start building with Kingpin and two gun kid, even though they, they, they don't theme at all. Do they share a keyword? Okay. No. Unless like he has something else, but no, probably not. But it's, um, it's interesting. It's interesting for sure. Wait a minute there. Uh, let's see. Yeah. No, no, no share keywords. Uh, she Hulk. All right. Uh, yeah. She Hulk. O thirty eight. Um, the Obama Maste trait. Um, objections the, interesting, but Faust did it way better. It no, she does it different than Faust. It's any free action within four. Mm. It's it's not. You're thinking of there's another She Hulk or something that does what mm. Faust does. This one is just and within it's four. Three six. That's yeah. kind of fun. Yeah, I I, that's I, good enough. Yep, yeah, that's exactly how I feel. Yeah, but that's really an interesting power, like very interesting. Yeah, the problem is, is within four. Yeah, like if you scratch out that four and make it an eight. Well, that's like the whole map, Daniel. <laughs> sticker, <laughs> sticker in the middle of the map as she gets the whole map with that. That's a little yeah, now too you strong. Understand Daniel's mind. <laughs> yes, no, I fully get it. It's just. It's easy to no, just say replace is, four with eight. Her problem is that she's not twenty points with two rollouts. Then she'd be worth it. Yep, or stealth, sure. or something. Yeah, I mean she's just way yeah, overcosted exactly. for what she does. Like, she is sixty yeah. points with no outwit protection. You know, no good no defense. No moving she time. becomes the target. Or, or maybe not even the target because no. just because line. there's not a range. She may turn off you popping out a construct like that's it. It's right. once per turn. It's not as if oh, it's once it. per turn. Oh gosh, let's just yeah, Madison. Let's talk about a good rare. Um, Madison is good. Shape change yeah, she's, once she's per she's game. Right. When Madison would take damage, you may stead and place Madison adjacent to a friendly character with the mystical keyword Wong. Uh, if you do, turn Madison to click three. If that character is named Wong, you may turn her to click one. Um, so movement power at the beginning of your turn, roll a d6. Ma one, Madison places, or an opponent places Madison up to one square away from her current square. Two through six, move Madison up to two squares. Perplex, Madison, on her special damage power, Madison may use it a second time. If she's adjacent to a friendly character with the mystical keyword, so double perplex for mystical, um, some it's movements. Double perplex, shape yep. change, and better than a stop click. Like she's yep. very. Busy. It's not protected pulse wave though, so that is a thing. It's not, and she also has underworld keyword, and she can move like that thing. Her T team, team ability. Team yeah. ability. Her, sorry, yeah. Um, we're but, not we're not complaining but, about this at all, right? Like this is great. No. I'm I'm sad that yeah. she's unique. Or else I'd play three of them. Yeah, um, she's she's probably there's no probably she's only playable on mystical, so yeah, um, or with well, mystical she's only characters. Playable, you have to have a mystical character, but there's a lot of those. It's she, it's not just she's obviously really good with Wong, but any mystical attacker you want you probably want to have her. Right. I Kong. mean, like yeah, like, Kong. yeah, God, uh, <laughs> exactly. Yes, that one, Kong, Mephisto, um. Ghost Riders. Um, oh yeah, O forty eight Ghost Rider. A oh, rat. Yep. Mm hmm. Ghost Rider even helps protect her with the shape change being uh, unwittable. Madam Web. Also, the, for yeah. what, the speed power can mess her up because if if your opponent moves her one square away, um, like you don't get the double perplex and she doesn't have a sidestep, so it can. It can it can be annoying to get that double perplex. But that's only on a one, and that's just such a minor downside. I know. I'm just saying. It, it imagine if you effect. imagine if you rolled a one, and you were like, "No, I really need that double perplex." And then you black shirt porter re rolled it and rolled another one. Oh, you know what's really funny? Your opponent. Oh no no no. Okay, they fit. They they were ahead of me. They said. Okay, the opponent places Madison up to one square. She doesn't move up to one square, or else she could have picked up your guys and moved them with Underworld. That would have been crazy. No, they place her. Okay. You're right. probably never actually rolling that power, realistically. No, you have to. You have to. 
Oh, at the beginning. I didn't realize it was. It's oh, not a free. I thought it was a free thing, like oh. a like a give, like a sidestep. Yeah. That's maybe why it's potentially bad. It, even if like it's she's still a perplexed shape chain stop click. You know, still not bad, but yeah, it can just be annoying. Jason doesn't is... doesn't Jason doesn't this sculpt kind of look like Rhea Ripley? The face a little bit it does. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. I will I will say don't forget don't try to play her on like a Silver Age team with retail because that you roll that one and then you're not retailing anymore because a, a figure was placed. Oh my god, could, could be wait, bad. Wait, wait. <laughs> Depending on depending on the retail, because some of the retails like if a character hadn't been placed this turn. Yeah, yeah, you're right. That, so that's good screw you. That's funny. <laughs> I, just just a funny little thing as if that happens. Mm -hmm. Oh man, Ronin. There, there's tons of like mystical stuff. Like I'm just thinking. Yeah. I mean, there's yeah all good, there's all, there's all of Wheels of Vengeance. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Good. Good call there. Yeah. You got a rack knight. Um, yeah, iron. In I mean, iron inquisitor. Yeah, tons of stuff. Okay, she's fantastic. Best piece in the set so far, yes, by right. far. And she's a, and she's pulp legal. So, yep. Uh, and so is orb. So, all go. right, Ronin, oh. man. Marksman. Nope. Um, I don't know if I'd say man. Does he not have any moving attack unless somebody dies? He has sidestep. Side 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 the best moving attack. Oh, they almost made Vulture 2.0. Like, uh, he might be okay in Pulp. Like, just I, okay on an Assassin's team. Like, yeah, if, I don't think he's... Like, that dial's not bad. Like, it's if, not bad. He would have been better in like in pulp before because you could throw out some of those paparazzis and have them just die, and then he would then have charge flurry. But like he's fifty five points. He has the stop click that also heals. His style's okay. Yeah, he's not bad. He's okay for pulp. Yeah. yeah. Um, Lucky the dog, Lucky. pizza retriever. At the beginning of the game, generate a pizza object when a friendly character would use the trick arrow equipment before revealing the card. Roll a d6, four through six. Shuffle a friendly used trick arrow card into that character's unused trick arrow card and set them face down. Wow. Which, which funny enough, works for him because he can free equip. <laughs> oh my god. The trick arrow equipment because <laughs> he's got marksman. And it doesn't say when another friendly character says a friendly character. And he's not tiny. So technically, in modern, he could. <laughs> right. So um, it's you funny. Want to. It's funny because. So here's my thought is that opposing characters in four squares can't use shape change. And where, that, is, that is solid. And But here's my thought is like, we still have Cosmo. Um. And we have we have Ghost Rider, right? Mm -hmm. So if you are trying to use your shape change as a reliable defense power, keep in mind power erasers still exist. But if you're really trying to use your shape change. Ghost Rider. You got to play Ghost Rider. In which case, Lucky. If you're relying on it, yeah. If yeah. you're relying on it, that's, that's yeah. a very key statement there. So, um, Lucky. So don't forget, real quick, the pizza object. A character holding this object has free destroy this object and heal one click. So he just throws out an object that someone could free eat a slice of pizza and heal. Like that's that's also, fine. Also, like. Obviously, Ghost Rider is a thing, but like against a lot of people, that's you know you got your Iron, your Prime Spider Man normally don't play Ghost Rider. Um, a lot of the unless it's the Defenders version, a lot of the CSSs don't have uh, Ghost Rider. Mephisto normally doesn't have Ghost Rider. Like there's a lot of shape change out there. This guy helps with a lot. Yeah, but um, Prime Prime Spider Man can be played with Ghost Rider. I mean, it's not like that's a weird thing to say. He um, can? Do they share? No. Is he a defender? Oh, he is a defender too, isn't he? No. He, you just, mm -hmm. just you just play him. 
unthemed. You could do that. Yeah. Yeah, but then you don't get the porters. Yeah, I'm, I'm saying most of the teams that are running shape change do not run Ghost Rider. Except Ghost Rider is pretty prevalent. Except Ghost Rider himself. What do you mean? G- Ghost Rider relies on his shape change. I uh, yeah, I'm saying it, obviously this guy isn't good against Ghost Rider, but there's a I'm saying there's a lot of teams that this guy helps you a lot with that don't run Ghost Rider. Yeah, I get it. Most of the teams that don't re- most of the teams that don't rely on shape change are relying on the fake shape change known as Killmonger. So that's, that's true. He does not have Yes, Lucky does not stop Killmonger. But once also, again, Lucky's twenty points, guys, with right. enhancement. Like, yeah. he's yeah, like he, ten he, points since you get the. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> but uh, it, it, his trait basically means that your trick error never runs out because, like, every time you use it, it's a fifty-fifty. So, like, to you know, most of the time, it's just going to keep going until the game's over. Yeah, he's a solid piece, but he only fits on certain teams, right? To to make it work. I like him. And now, I guess a good point is he works in pulp. I would have to see how much shape change there actually is in pulp, because then you don't have to worry about Power Racers or Ghost Rider, because none of those are legal in pulp. Yeah, for the most part. I so, think. just don't. I mean, the, I think my point behind all of that is to say, don't think that Lucky is a silver bullet to shape change. Um, can someone explain to me what show these next people come? Uh, from? Werewolf, Werewolf by, by Night. Night. Yeah, Werewolf by Night. Oh, okay. Yeah, never watched it. You it was a, watch it. good. It is really I heard good. It was good. Yeah, yeah. I it's heard. really good. I haven't I watched watch it yet, it. but I I kind of get the gist of it. Uh, hey, it's the, really good. The figures in this set from that show are all pretty interesting, so it's making me want to watch. It, it. It's it's only like an hour long. It's only one show. It's really good. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. It, it was a it was a special presentation. Go watch it. I will. Like, I will. Yeah. All right, so this guy has. I'm always saving you, Ted. Support, perplex. Uh, support is free, but only to choose a character with a monster keyword. A la Dr. Frankenstein. Anybody? Yep. Uh, yeah, yeah. And then I have 100 deaths. It is a special defense power. That's not on his have card. On his dial. <laughs> and it's a stop click. I don't know. I'm assuming it's going to get an errata. Um, Who the hell is this? <laughs> On six, well, I'm, it's, I'm gonna it's gonna it. be it's gonna be on click six. Yeah, probably. Yeah. When this click is revealed, you may replace Jack Russell with a character named World by Night on his last on KO click. If you do, the opponent scores the, uh, this guy immediately and does not score the replacement character. Okay. And and we'll get to Werewolf by Night, but he actually is solid. So, but he's not a werewolf. he's not a cur, right? So this guy has right. So for both purposes, support, no. perplex, and on every one of his clicks, he either has support or perplex. Yeah, what I don't know it? what I don't know what happened with That's this so guy's weird. Style. Yeah, this is. Oh, which you're perplexed. Too bad I have it again. No, so oh. um, the the dial there's something it's bad. The dial well, was this is the wrong dial altogether. I want yeah, maybe the, something was not printed correctly with Jack Russell, unfortunately. Yeah, he's I'm not gonna, good. I'm, I'm totally, I bet it's a totally different dial. I, I, you know what I mean? It could be. The curve could be. Um, even if even if everything works the way we hope it does at the end of the erratas, he's not good. Uh, Unless he's a different dial, we're not looking at. All right. If, so, he, if he was a Black Lantern, he'd be amazing. But that's true. Fortunately, <laughs> he is not. Wow. Um, Verusa uh, target trait uh, when a friendly character KOs an opposing character with the target token heal that friendly character two clicks in this game if they have mystics if the ko character had the monster keyword score 15 victory points it's that damage power you probably play in her in pulp yeah she's Opposing a change all mm-hmm. yeah she's she, a she, she, she's a she's a deathstroke killer yeah she's looking at deathstroke and say hey bad boy mm-hmm. how, how you doing now she's not killing him but She's helping. She's assisting. Yeah, Some, somebody, somebody, target. somebody else definitely is. Is that yeah. target trait ever like worth it? That's like forty extra points. Like, it it's one of those that when it came out in Notorious, I said in Pulp, there's 
the problem is, is after the first one, there's only a few characters that can give you move that target token to somebody right. else. Yeah. And most of them were primes, unfortunately. But it, it's one of those where maybe in pulp it could work. I don't think it'll ever work in modern, but pulp might have enough. What's like a cheap monster figure that's easy to kill? Is there one? Like, I guess any if you any time you kill a Scott Porter, you can just target Scott Porter. Oh snap! Oh wait, wait, wait! Hold up. Mm. Demon has monster guys. We found it. Oh. <laughs> Donnie Blaze. Now, hold on, Donnie Blaze. That's forty free points right there. <laughs> and it gives your character a Mystics. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know. That's not that. That's not bad. Oh, that's um, funny. Um, okay, but yeah, no, she's probably only ever seen play in pulp, and it's purely because of Deathstroke. Because yeah. of Deathstroke's everywhere, being able to just say you don't get to use that or shape change or stealth. Right. Like that's that's good. That's good enough for thirty. Right? Yeah, yeah, that's good enough for 30 points. And she has Mastermind. So, I mean, she's not super easy to take out. That's right. All right. And then on to the Trick Arrow. All right. Well, uh, this is Daniel. And, um, yeah, the Super Rares and up half of the recording didn't work. So, we will be recording the uh, Super Rares and up portion of the show again um starting with the trick arrows so um i don't know this is the second time this has happened i'm gonna go through uh, all of my settings and stuff on my computer and see if um i can get this fixed and stop this from happening again but uh thanks everybody for listening to click stuff today and we will talk to y'all real soon about the super rares and up later <laughs>